Some people overshare because they're lonely. I saw this comment on a Kelly Stamps video and it hit close to home, a little more than I was comfortable with. Her video in the comments made me reflect on my relationship with social media, mainly Instagram. So I got off Instagram and here's a compilation of memories while I was gone. There were so many moments where I wanted to share on Instagram, but practicing restraint and having more time to reflect on my impulses helped me a lot this summer. Instagram is one of the first things I look at when I wake up. It's why I scroll through in the toilet, and it's the first app I clicked on when I wanted to share something. That's all not bad, but I dug a little deeper and found out that I was insecure. Whenever I post it, I'd look at who viewed my story, who liked my post. I'd spend a lot of time contemplating what and when to post, and it felt really performative. I'll talk more about that later on, but yes, this is one of the memories. I had a nice charcuterie, char charcuterie <laughs> with Jingles and Geraldine, and it was so nice and really, really delicious. And we were super stuffed afterwards. But anyway, I felt like I wasn't happy. Some days I refrain from posting because whatever I wanted to post wasn't nice and some days I post a lot because I wanted to share what I was doing. Some days I post too much, sharing things that quite frankly no one gives a damn about. <laughs> and I was lonely and I wanted to address that. I think a huge part of my loneliness stemmed from the fact that I'm single and that's a problem because I want this time of singleness to be an amazing time where I just have so much freedom to do whatever I want. Like I have all this time to do amazing things for God, for my friends, for my family, and that's a beautiful thing. And I realized that insecurity was a huge issue in my loneliness, so I wanted to build on my self-confidence. And speaking of self-confidence, thank goodness for the hackathon. I felt like it was such an opportunity from God to help me with my self-efficacy and self-confidence journey. We have decided on uh, the winners of this uh, competition. So I guess without further ado, um, let me proceed. So a little bit underwhelming with, without the, the, the clap, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the winner of this uh, hackathon goes to... So remember that hackathon that I was participating in? Um, yeah, my group managed to do really well in that competition, so praise the Lord and all glory to God for that. I also received my church camp pack over here. It was an amazing camp. And this book, Trash of Society, is an excellent book. I wasn't on Instagram, but I still wanted to capture memories, so some of the clips can be seen in my previous vlog. So my sister said that isn't sharing on YouTube worse given that I'm trying to quit social media, but YouTube is still such a big part of social media for me. But I think the part that got to me about social media is knowing who's going to see my post or the ability to kind of check who was looking at what I was posting, like with Insta stories. I'm really glad that YouTube doesn't provide that kind of feedback and I hope it never does. So that's why I was still on YouTube. Orchard Road. Whoa, look at that huge ad. <gasps> so pretty. Hi. Okay. Jingles. Jingles is single, ready to mingle. He can cook, he can clean, make you feel like a queen. So call 989. <laughs> wow. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let me take a nice Yes, yes, yes. Thanks for the gift. Ah, Happy good, birthday good, good. to you. Wow. Make a wish, make a wish. No, no, not yet. Are you waiting? We're waiting for the grab. <laughs> the or the Gojek. The Gojek. Gojek. Yeah. Gojek. And it was a great day today. I can't talk about that on Instagram because I'm not on Instagram. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, I also went to Beauty in a Pot with Jingles and Clarice. We call it Biap. We had a really nice time there. But I wanted to talk a bit more about the hackathon. So I really wanted to document the process and take pictures of the UI UX design and interfaces that I was making for the competition but I couldn't because I was off Instagram. But this in itself has taught me an important lesson of making moves in silence which Kelly Stamps talked a bit about. 
and I feel like after this whole experience, I'm a lot more careful when it comes to how much information I reveal before things are complete. Like with the hackathon, if I was still on Instagram, I think I'd be posting about it like every day while I was at it and I wouldn't be able to leave things till the end to really show the culmination of all that hard work. Like I already felt sense of discomfort whenever I posted about something good that happened. Sometimes I feel like I'm bragging even though I just want to share my happiness when something good happens. But despite this discomfort, most of the time I'd still post anyway. However, in this month when I was off Instagram, I didn't have to subject myself to that discomfort. I just simply didn't post and over time it became so comfortable to just work in private. When I thought about moving forward, my first instinct was to be more thoughtful and careful about what I post and that's good for sure. But I also don't want to get to a point where I police what I post so much that I go back to being very wary of what people think of me. Rather, I'd like to reach a stable point of neutrality when it comes to sharing on Instagram, kind of like how I am with YouTube. I share what I want, of course not to a point of oversharing or being mean, but I also withhold information that I don't want to put out there. And I think that's a really healthy relationship with social media, and I think I'm getting there. It is 21st July and I'm about to go back on Instagram. Maybe I should do a what's in my phone video. Uh, but anyway, this is my social folder and Instagram has 8 notifications on the little icon. So let's see. So that's about it. Caught up with everything. Social media is a great way to connect with people. But I should explain why I got off social media in the first place, right? I got off social media because I was getting very fixated on who was looking at my insta stories, who was looking at my posts, who was liking my posts, who didn't like my posts. I think that's one thing that I really love about YouTube. It's the fact that unless you comment on my videos, I really don't know who liked or who watched my videos and I quite like that and I hope YouTube stays like that. I should also mention the only times I went back on was to like an insta DM from my friend from a long time ago and it would be weird to not reply her for like weeks <laughs> so I had to go back and just quickly like what she sent me. Another time was to go and check my boss's or client's Instagram page just to get the pictures that she wanted me to get and to see how she posted her insta stories because I would have to make an uh, insta story. Anyway, this, this, this is not important. I found that being off Instagram has given me so much more time and freedom. I don't think Instagram itself is bad. It's definitely not bad. It's an amazing app and I would love to create an app that is as amazing as Instagram. I think it's what you do on the app that determines how helpful or healthy it is for you. The same goes for a lot of different things in life. Summer has been great and it's coming to an end as well. But before I ramble on too much, I guess this is all for this video. I pray that you stay safe, happy, and healthy wherever you are. Bye!